Hi, this video is a part of data visualization with Python playlist. In this video, I'll explain drawing of customized waffle chart using matplotlib. This notebook contains different types of visualization, but we are interested in customized waffle chart using matplotlib. In waffle chart, first of all, we load this Canada data set. Just let me show you how waffle charts look like. So this is what we are interested in drawing. So let me just introduce you with the data set. We will be loading this Canada data set. This data frame contains the information for immigration for, for immigration of different countries from 1980 to 2013. Now, we will clean the data by first of all dropping the unnecessary columns and changing the names of columns to logical names. Consider this odd name. This does not make sense because this column contains the names of the countries. So it's much better to name it with the country. And then we set uh, this country name, this country column uh, to be the index. And we also map each of the column to type string. And we also find out the total number of immigrants for each of the country from 1980 to 2013. And we do it by summing along first axis this whole data frame. And this is what we get after cleaning. Then what we are interested in is finding out the immigration data for three of the countries, Denmark, Norway and Sweden. And using this immigration uh, data, what we are interested in is total number of immigrants. How do we do that? First of all, these categories uh, is a variable containing the names of uh, the countries, Denmark, Norway and Sweden because this is the, the index is basically the country's index and the value of index are having three uh, country names, Denmark, Norway and Sweden. So categories contain this list. Then we have the values for each of the country. And how do we find out? We extract out the total number of immigrants for each of this, these countries. Then this is how it looks. OK, these three are the countries. And for each of the country, we have total number of immigrants. Then comes the visualization for, part. In Waffle chart, the first thing that we have to do is to find out the proportion of uh, immigrants from Denmark and Norway and Sweden for each of the category and how do we do it first of all we calculate the total number of immigrants from these three countries and then, then we find out uh, the proportion by dividing the number of immigrants for each of the country by the total number of uh, immigrants for, from all the three countries in this way we get the proportion from Denmark uh, the proportion of immigrants are 32 percent from Norway it's 19 percent and from Sweden it's 48 percent so Sweden is the winner Sweden has much more immigrants towards Canada Okay, total number of immigrants. Okay, now the second step is to define the overall size of waffle chart. So this waffle chart is kind of a matrix if you look at it. So we want the width of waffle chart to be 40 units and height to be 10 units. Then we will create number of tiles depending on the width and height. So if you are considering uh, 40 units width and 10 units height, then total number of tiles must be width multiplied by heights. So we are having total 400 tiles in our waffle chart. Then the third step is to populate each of the tile uh, accordingly, uh, according to the proportion of the country immigration calculations that we have done. So out of 400 tiles, 32% must be uh, must be filled with Denmark and 19% must be filled with Norway and 48% must be filled with Sweden. And each of them must have separate color for visualization purpose. So we will find out the 32% of 400, 19% of 400 and 48% of 400 and we'll round it. This is what we are doing here in this in this list. So we are applying this for loop and inside this for loop, we are just multiplying this proportion by the number of tiles. So in this way, we get the tiles per category. For each category, we find out the total number of tiles that we will be, uh, we will be uh, using. Then we will print out this total number of tiles per category. So for Denmark, we have 129 tiles. For Norway, we have 77 tiles. And for Sweden, we have 194 tiles. So these number of tiles are kind of uh, encoding this information of proportion of immigrants from each of the country. Then the fourth step, the final step is basically uh, kind of uh, creating a mat matrix that resembles the waffle chart and then populating it with the value. We will call this Denmark consider uh, one and then Norway two and Sweden three. So then what we will do is for column in width and for row in height, we will uh, take a tile index. So we are having total of 400 tiles. And then uh, for the first 129 tiles, we will populate it with the value of one. And then for the next 77 tiles, we will populate it with the value of two. And then for the next 194 tiles, we will populate it with uh, the value of three. So three will be representing Sweden. So this is the logic that we are implementing here. Once we have this waffle chart populated, then what we will do is we will simply plot the figure. So this is the figure where we are, we, where we want to do all the plotting. And inside this figure, we are actually using this function matshow. This matshow function of matplotlib, this plt is actually matplotlib.pyplot uh, imported as plt. So this matshow function of matplotlib takes in the matrix 
and the color map and simply outputs this matrix in color form giving unique color to each number if it is integer and if it is float it will give a range of color uh, from minimum to maximum so this is the matrix of size which i have already uh, explained 40 uh, 10 so the height is 10 the rows will be 10 and the width is 40 so columns will be 40 so this matrix of size 10 comma 40 is actually having values of 1 2 or 3 and all of them were actually populated using this color map and color map is what we have uh, defined here and what we have extracted here from different schemes of color map ex that is that exists inside matplotlib so we are using the school warm color map so uh, the blue represents the minimum value and the red represents the maximum value and in between value is represented by this whitish color okay this is uh, the color bar function is just representing the sidebar uh, which also represents the intensity and the color encoding that that has been done by this color map and this match show uh, function so in a way we have converted this matrix containing different values into this visualization however we want to we want to uh, make it much more prettier and beautiful how do we do that first of all we will remove this these uh, labels we don't need this 0 5 10 15 or 0 2 4 6 8 these are not needed secondly these tick marks this is what we call tick marks these small tick marks between this 10 and this blue line these tick marks marks are very far away they need to be uh, they need to be at a regular space and close to each other and there must be more tick marks than they are already present here at this point in time at, at this uh, in this chart so we need more tick marks as we can see here and they must be placed at regular spaces and all of the lines that is being generated using these tick marks will also look beautiful once we generate these small tick marks placed at regular spaces uh, and, uh, and, and, and closely uh, spaced together. So the main aim here is to beautify it by, first of all, getting the axis. The logic above this line is same. We get the axis here of this chart, of this plot, of this waffle chart. And then we set the x ticks and y ticks. How many x ticks and y ticks? We set it in the range of minus 0 0.5 up to width width is 40 so x ticks will start from minus 0 0.5 up to 40 with the step size of one so the the x tick will be minus 0 0.5 1.5 uh, 2.5 3.5 4.5 5.5 and it will go on up to 40 and for y tick this these y ticks will go from minus 0 0.5 up to height height is 10 so it will go on from 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 1.5 2.5 3.5 4.5 5.5 6.5 7.5 8.5 .5, and 9.5 with the with the step size of one and we are setting these minor ticks uh, so once we have set it once we have once we are done with uh, setting these minor ticks then we will add these grid lines and these grid lines will be added based on this minor ticks and the color must be white and the line style should be this 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 kind of a uh, slash this kind of a line a small line that we want this is a style there are different line styles that you could use then we want the line width of two so you can play with the with these parameters to change the visualization style and then we do not want any x tick values or y tick values these 05 024 so that's why we give an empty list that is what we have done here to prettify our waffle chart once done with that then we want to create this legend how do we create this legend for that part the code above this line is completely same we just added these two these three different logics the first one is to compute the cumulative sum of individual categories to match the color schemes between chart and legend we want this color for each of the legend to be same as it is here so for that reason we are finding out these values and these values will be used in this color map so this color map contains this these float values for each of the uh, category so given this uh, proportion we get the color map value from this color map that we have already uh, defined the color map that we have defined is cool warm so given this cool warm color map we get this color in this color val variable color underscore val variable by giving in the value and the value is actually containing the proportion of blue tiles so given this proportion of blue tiles to this color map we get this color this blue color and given the proportion of norway tiles we get this white color out and given the proportion of these red tiles we get this red color out from this color map this is simply to match this color for these legends in accordance with the color of this color map uh, that we have created on this matrix so 
this is done to find out those cumulative sum and total values this is a simple logic the most important part is basically creating this legend using these m patches now these are matplotlib.py patches imported as m patches now this is what we call patch this blue patch this white patch and this red patch so each legend has these patches then what how do we do that first of all we'll create an empty list list containing these patches for denmark norway and sweden and then for then we'll use this enumerate function on this list containing the this denmark norway and sweden values so these are uh, so for, for for first iteration this enumerate function will output i equal to 0 and category equal to denmark and for second iteration the i becomes 1 and the category becomes norway and for the third iteration the i becomes 2 and category becomes sweden so for each of the category what we will do is we will first first of all find out this label this label will be denmark because category is denmark in the first iteration and we will add this total number of tiles that we have the total number of uh, not tiles but instead the total number of uh, the total number of immigrants uh, from uh, this Denmark then this information is added alongside the name of the country Denmark and we store it in the label underscore string then we store this color value using this color map that I have already explained and then what we do is we append this legend handles with this function m patches dot patch this will create this patch for Denmark in the first iteration having color equal to color value and label equal to label string and this will happen for Norway and Sweden and for all the three countries the patches information is stored in this legend handles this list then what we'll do is we'll add the legend and the handles contain this legend handles list and this list contains these patches information these patches information makes use of these color values and label string for each of the country and we have calculated these values here then what happens is that we are saying that we want the location of this legend to be the lower center and total number of columns within this in this legend are three so length of the categories are three so that's why this is the first column second column and third column and this is finally where we want to place it so you can change all of these values these different values and different values for uh, uh this x takes and y takes you can find out the difference in the in the creation of the plot uh, and that would make much more sense if you play with it you'll understand in a much better way but that's the main idea to create this matrix containing information converting it to this uh, colorful visualization using color maps uh, we could use different style of color map uh, we could use not cool warm instead there are a lot of color map schemes that you can see uh, that you can visit uh, their official website uh, uh, matplotlib official website for different color schemes then we just beautify it and you can play with it and you can adjust in much more better ways and then uh, we just add the legend by using this matplotlib.patches okay I hope so this makes sense now.